Cedar Rapids and Long Branch, New Jersey. It's wonderful hearing a story of wonderful things that are going on at the Long Branch Public Library. We are so fortunate, Ms. Down. Ms. Kessler, could you lower the microphone lower? a little bit, please? Thank you. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yep. <clears throat> Something disturbing happened to me today. And I think when anything disturbing happens at a city-run office or agency, uh, it should be reported publicly. In a couple of weeks, the mayor and the council are invited to the Long Branch Senior Center for what's considered one of the most coveted events of the year, lunch with the seniors. And all the seniors want to be there because they know that day Everything is going to be fancier and nicer and wonderful. Just a wonderful, wonderful event. What, this, all events at the center must be signed up in advance. What day, days, two days, did the director choose for a sign up at the senior center? This past Monday and Tuesday, the first and second day of Rosh Hashanah. Now, Rosh Hashanah was like worldwide, everyone knows about Rosh Hashanah, it's the worldwide main event for the Jewish population. This literally meant that many of us who are Jewish and regularly go to the senior center would not be allowed to sign up for this event because we couldn't be there. We chose to be to honor our New Year. So today, Wednesday morning, the first day after Rosh Hashanah, I went to the senior center. And I said, gee, has any accommodation been made for the Jewish population who couldn't, who want, chose to observe our holiday and not go to the senior center? And the answer was, no. I said, I want to sign up to have lunch with this council and mayor. And they said, we're sorry, it's closed out. This is in two days, closed out. You cannot sign up for this event. Now I'm leaving the center and I'm saying to myself, gee, this director could have chosen Monday and Wednesday to sign up, the day after Rosh Hashanah, spread out at the cell to sign up is two days. But no, she chose Monday and Tuesday, both pretty recognizable days of Rosh Hashanah. Now I believe that Dr. Vo at who runs Brookdale College they would never have a sign-up event on Rosh Hashanah where a portion of the population probably would not be available to attend. I think even at the Board of Education, they wouldn't schedule some important sign-up or uh, for the schools on Rosh Hashanah where they knew a portion might not be available uh, to attend. I think that the director of this senior center is really in need of some diversity or sensitivity education. And this year, although I will not be able to attend this luncheon with you, because I chose to observe Rosh Hashanah, I hope you will very closely look around at the faces who are in the audience. Long Branch is now over 30% Latina and 20% African American. Take a close look and see how welcoming, who was attending and who feels, because people, if they don't feel welcome, can find other things to do. They don't have to go to the senior center. But by looking at the faces to see that day, who is attending, you'll see who feels most welcome. And I hope you'll look into that. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you.